You're about to discover the terrifying truth about commercial dog food that's linked to the deaths of thousands of dogs across the US, UK, Canada and Australia every single day. Many world famous doctors of veterinary medicine and published dog care experts universally agree any dog that eats commercial dog food is at a much higher risk of dying prematurely and by the time symptoms are noticeable it's often too late to prevent an agonizing death except by lethal injection. See their shocking research supported warnings and solutions in this presentation. Also in this report, I show you a simple solution proven to significantly increase your dog's lifespan and cut your costs by thousands over the lifetime of your dog. To discover these amazing secrets, just continue watching this short presentation and your reward is a super healthy, incredibly happy dog that stays by your side for up to 8.3 years longer than is statistically predicted. If you don't make drastic but simple changes to the way you feed your dog beginning today, your dog is at an alarmingly high risk of suffering an early and painful death. I sometimes get accused of using scare tactics, but have you ever had a dog that died of cancer or some other disease? If not, I'm sure you know several people that have. Is that normal? Yes, nowadays it is normal, but that's not the right question. The right question is, is that natural? The answer to that question is no, and science has proven it. A study called Theories of Aging published in the Veterinary Clinics of North America Small Animal Practice Scientific Journal proved the potential lifespan of your dog is 27 years. How many times in your life have you heard of a dog living that long? For me, it's only a couple of times. My dog only made it to four. He was incredibly happy, exercised daily and very healthy, or so I thought. But I later discovered I had poisoned him because I believed the lies told to me by the dog food companies I bought his food from. The very same companies you buy from and those same lies are still told to you every single day. My dog is gone, yet it's not too late for you no matter what age your dog is, but only if you discover what you must do and act now. The clock started ticking long before you arrived at this page, so I beg you, pay close attention. Right now, I'm going to expose why the commercial dog food you trust is shamefully killing your dog, and step by step, what you must do to prevent it. My team has researched commercially available dog food thoroughly and very few brands are worthy of your dog. Well known does not equal healthy. The widespread disease and death of dogs from nutritionally inadequate and poison laden commercial dog food is no secret in the world of vets and dog experts. Leading dog author Anne Martin says most commercial pet foods are garbage. World famous doctor of veterinary medicine Dr. Alfred Pletchner says Long-term effects of a commercial diet is dogs become biochemical cripples with no resistance to disease. And author Deborah Lynn Dad says, it is illegal to label a dog food as healthy and complete even when lacking in close to 30 essential nutrients. So if you love your dog, drop everything, bolt the door and take the phone off the hook because this story is the wake up call that saves the life of your own beloved canine. I pray you have not seen the following symptoms in your dog because the death of your dog looks like this. Slowly, I began to notice something unusual about my dog Noble. He didn't have the same bounce to his step that he was famous for. At times, he even seemed reluctant to go for a regular exercise, which was always the highlight of his day. I dismissed it as him feeling a bit off or maybe a touch of laziness, but it didn't pass. In fact, he got worse and then worse still. I eventually took him to the local vet and was told his kidneys were failing, soon he would be dead. Dead, as in gone, forever. But, but he's so young, so strong, so happy. I don't understand, how could this be right? Devastated, with tears welled in my eyes, I choked back the urge to cry and listened for my vet's response. I'm usually a calm and relaxed guy. It takes a lot to shape my tree, but the facts my vet shared with me that day made me tremble with anger and resentment. He said, Andrew, I'm sorry to tell you but Noble is dying. The preservatives found in the commercial dog food you feed him have destroyed his kidneys. He'll be dead in three weeks, maybe four, and it's too late to prevent it. You see, the major dog food companies fill their processed food with preservatives to increase its shelf life and maximize their profits. They know 
These preservatives kill millions of pets every single year, but without them, their profits would not be as large, and that's the bottom line. Andrew, Noble is dying for the sake of fattening company profits. I later discovered through my own research, preservatives are not the only reason dog food kills dogs. More on that soon. You'll be outraged. For a moment, my mind was completely blank. And then from a dark place within me rose a violent tempest of anger and resentment. Rapidly, it forced its way to the top of my consciousness until, almost involuntarily, my head snapped back and I bellowed a painful and frustrated wail. No! But alas, I was powerless to save the life of my best friend. Four weeks later, Noble passed away in my arms from a lethal injection at 3.46 on a Wednesday afternoon. Still the saddest day of my life. An innocent victim of dog food negligence. Please don't let this tragic story become your own. I've spent the past seven years researching the truth about commercial dog food and proper canine health and nutrition. I've interviewed vets, dog experts and dog owners from all over the world. This is the terrifying truth I discovered. Commercial dog food contains at least six dangerous chemicals banned from human foods because they cause kidney cancer, bladder cancer, skin cancer, stomach cancer, spleen cancer, leukemia, liver dysfunction, major organ failure, immune system collapse, severe allergic reaction, birth defects, blindness, chronic diarrhea, hair loss, and behavior problems including increased aggressiveness. Very dangerous if your dog is around children. And if you think, like I did, that buying foods are labeled as chemical and preservative free makes them safe, think again. It's just more lies. Vet Dr. Henry Pasternak says, an analysis of several pet foods labeled chemical free or all natural ingredients found synthetic antioxidants in all samples. He goes on to say, the most powerful and most toxic preservative called ethoxyquin linked to cancers, allergies, and immune system collapse is not listed in the ingredients label because pet food companies don't have to let you know about dangerous chemicals added before they receive the raw product. That's right, pet food companies have these dangerous preservatives added before they receive the raw products to exploit a legal loophole. Best-selling pet care author Ann Martin adds, before these materials used for pet food are shipped from the slaughterhouse to the rendering plant, the byproduct is denatured. This means that crude carbolic acid, cressolic disinfectant and citronella is sprayed on the product. The bottom line is, pet foods labeled as chemical and preservative free are actually chock full of deadly poisons. There's another dirty trick they pull on us and our dogs. Prepare to be horrified. Your dog's food contains dead pets killed by lethal injection, mostly cats and dogs. The city of Los Angeles alone, for example, sends some 200 tons of euthanized cats and dogs to a pet food plant every month. The true horror is the drug used to kill these stray and abandoned animals, called sodium pentobarbital, is not broken down by the manufacturing process and is still present in active form in your dog's food. Leading dog author Ann Martin discovered, some veterinarians and animal advocates have known about the danger of sodium pentobarbital residue in commercial pet food, yet the danger has not been alleviated. And she continues to say, the euthanized pets are thrown into the rendering vats still with their collars, ID tags, and plastic bags they arrived in. And dog food companies don't stop with pets. Your dog is also eating euthanized animals from zoos, animal control, and putrid, decaying roadkill scraped off the road with a shovel. Can it get any worse than that? Well, how about this? All of these dead animals and other ghastly materials are processed until the portion left over for dog food production is a brown powder which consists of 25% fecal matter. Yes, 25% animal crap. Does any of this sound like the actions of someone that respects you and your dog? Do you still trust the dog food ads featuring smiling vets and dog breeders telling you the food they represent is everything your dog needs? The truth is, pet food is a $13 billion ultra competitive industry. It's dominated by gigantic companies with thousands of shareholders. They care about share prices and profits first and foremost, not your dog. If you continue to feed your dog exclusively on commercial pet food, 
you are dooming them to a painful, traumatic death, an innocent death. And now that you know the truth, you too can be held responsible if you do nothing about it. Here's the simple three-step solution. Step one, stop using commercial dog food as your dog's only or main source of food. This step is the most important and you should make the change in the next couple of days. But you can't make this change unless you have a good alternative plan in place. I can show you a proven alternative plan. It's much easier than you think and much cheaper than you're spending now. I'll get to that very soon. Step two, learn how to read commercial dog food labels because there will be times when you still want to use it. But this is what you're up against. The grocery manufacturers of America, the National Food Processors Association, and the Pet Food Institute join together and lobby against the FDA to keep the labeling terms used as confusing and misleading as possible. They have to, because if dog owners like us really knew what was in these commercial foods, we'd stop buying them today. I learned how to decipher their deliberate double talk, and I'll show you how to understand it too. By the way, I paid a professional field researcher $1,500 to find the 10 very best ultra-healthy commercial dog foods available in all of North America. Using my strict dog food ratings criteria, I was shocked when she could only find nine that actually met the super high standards I expect, proving the state of commercial dog food is worse than even I thought it was. I call the report of these nine brands my guilt crusher because for the first time ever, I can feed my dog commercial dog food with zero guilt or worry about what it's doing to his body. And now also, for the first time, I'm willing to share it with other dog owners. I'll tell you more about that in a while. Step three, get some healthy, well-balanced dog food recipes and start feeding your dog homemade dog food. I have a huge collection I'm happy to share with you. It's very easy if you know how to cook specifically for dogs. Just cook a large batch, freeze it, and it can be eaten over several weeks. That's what I do. But be sure you have a good source of recipes written, especially for dogs, because they have very specific requirements different to humans. I can show you how to easily complete each of these three steps and much more. Here's how. I'd like to introduce the one-of-a-kind step-by-step survival guide that makes your dog live a longer, healthier life. So you enjoy up to 8.3 more years of happiness and companionship than is statistically predicted. Dog Food Secrets now in its fourth edition. The fourth edition has just been released and inside you'll find 35 all new healthier and easier to make recipes. All main meal dishes are flour, salt, sugar, butter and cream free. Every recipe has feeding recommendations for toy, small, medium, large and extra large dogs. There is a calorie count included for every recipe, a sodium count included for every recipe and we've also added five completely new must-have books and guides to the goal pack, including a canine homemade supplement guide, a puppy feeding guide, a diet changeover guide, and more. And yes, if you're wondering, it has been documented if you exclusively use canine-specific, well-balanced, calorie-controlled homemade recipes exactly like you find in this book, and follow the same principles of nutrition and calorie control I show you, dogs live up to 134% longer than the average for their breed. Wendy and Jack Vollard are well-known and respected 30-year dog breeding and training veterans. Wendy writes about how her dogs live to an amazing old age through proper diet. We've made our own food for well over 30 years now. Whereas the normal lifespan of a Newfoundland is 6.7 years, our dogs live up until 15 years of age. That's an increase of 134% or more than double the average age. In Dog Food Secrets, I show how you too can get the same amazing results. 